Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to do a rectangular shawl in the wedding ring or fairy ring circle pattern. It's a very pretty lace. I did this one in a comfy cotton blend from Lion Brand. They say it's a light three, but that's it was more like a four and I used a six millimeter hook on it but this was the uh, the yarn and of course it's blocking the name of the color the color is chai latte so yeah let's get started All right, to start this pattern, you make your chain in multiples of nine plus two. Now, in order to make this shawl, you can work um, width or you could do length. And when I made mine, I chose to do it by width. It just didn't seem as intimidating to handle the chain at the beginning. So, what you're going to want to do, since it is a four row repeat once we get our setup row done, you might want to take notes because if you have to stop and you can't come back to it for a day or two, you might forget what you're supposed to do next. Okay, so I have 47 chains here, multiples of nine plus two. And now I'm going to double crochet into the seventh chain from the hook. So the one on the hook does not count. In the seventh chain from the hook, we are going to begin a two double crochets together. So you yarn over, go over to the seventh chain, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and pull through just two of your loops. You should still have two left on your hook. You're going to skip two chains, one, two, and in the third, you're going to do another, the second part of the two double crochet together. So you yarn over and pull through two. Now you have three loops on your hook, and you yarn over and pull through those three and that gives you two double crochets together. Then we want to chain two, skip two, one, two, and in the third chain we're going to do a v-stitch. And a v-stitch consists of a double crochet, a chain two, and another double crochet in that same spot. Okay, you look like this. Then you're going to chain two, skip two, and do a double crochet, the beginnings of your two double crochet together. So you yarn over, pull through a loop, and then pull through two leaving two loops on your hook. Now we're going to skip two, one, two, and do the second half of our two double crochets together. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull all three, pull through all three loops. Chain two, skip two, one, two, and in the third do a v-stitch which is a double crochet, a chain two, and another double crochet in that same spot. And then you're going to repeat that all the way to the end of your row. 
and at the end you should have one stitch left and you're just going to chain two and do a double crochet into that last stitch. So two double crochet together, V stitch, two double crochet together, V stitch, and all the way to the end of your row. So one, two, okay. So I am at the end and I started with the two double crochet together. I'm ending with the two double crochet together. One stitch left. I chain two and do one double crochet in the last chain. Okay. So it's the only time kind of that you're going to do this row. So for row two, which will be the start of your repeat rows, you're going to chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to turn our work and we're going to skip over to the V stitch. And in the V stitch, we are going to do a double crochet, chain two, come over to the second half of the V stitch and do a double crochet. And you just formed a box. So now you chain five, four, five, jump over to the V stitch and do a cro double crochet, chain two, go to the second half of the V stitch and double crochet. You just made another box. Chain five, three, four, five, and jump over to your V stitch. So you're gonna do that all the way across to the end of your row. At the end, we don't have another V stitch, so, but what we're gonna do is change five, <laughs> chain five, one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna come over to this last chain, skip two, and in the third one, you're going to do a double crochet. Okay. So now you look like this. Write all this down. Okay, so row two was chain eight, double crochet in the first part of your V, chain two, double crochet in the second part of your V, chain five, and move on down the row to each V stitch. Just take notes, trust me. All right, so row three, which is row two of your repeat, you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Turn your work, and you're gonna make a V stitch in the middle, which would be the third stitch from either direction, one, two, three, or one, two, three. And it is best to go into the chain. So we're gonna do a V stitch, which is a double crochet, a chain two and another double crochet in that same chain space. Okay, so we got our V. Then we chain two and we're going to come over here to our box stitch and we're going to do a two double crochet together. The first half goes in the first double crochet and the second half goes over here in the second double crochet and we've just did two double crochets together so chain two come over to the middle of your chain five and place a V stitch Double crochet, chain two, double crochet, 
in the same spot, chain two, come over to the box and it's two double crochets together. Chain two, to the middle of the chain five, we do our V. There's a double crochet, a chain two, and a double crochet in the same spot. See how we've formed this ring? We're almost done with this ring. Okay, so chain two, come over to the box and do your two double crochets together. Okay, and you're gonna alternate between the two double crochets together in the V-stitch all the way to the end of the row and it is forming your rings. Okay, when you get to the end of your row, you're gonna be at your chain eight, the beginning chain eight from the previous row. So here you want to chain two, skip two, come over to the third one and do a V stitch. Okay. Then you're gonna skip two and go into the third one with a double crochet. Okay. So right now I have three full rings and two partial ones on either end. Now it was row three. So row four, which is row three of our repeat rows, we are going to chain three, turn our work, and we are going to double crochet into our V stitch, the first part of it, chain two, and double crochet into the second part of our V-stitch without dropping our stitch. Okay, so we're back to making the boxes. Chain five. Come over to your V-stitch and do a double crochet. Chain two. Crochet, chain five, jump over to your V and double crochet, chain two, the second half of the V, double crochet, You're forming those boxes. And these big chain five spaces are the holes in the center of the circle. So chain five, jump over to your V, and do a double, chain two, do a double, Chain five, and jump over to your V, do a double, a chain two, and a double in the second half. And we're gonna end the row with a single crochet into the top of our chain three from the row below. This is where we're at now. 
Row five, which is row four of the repeat, and the final row of the repeat, and then we jump back to row two. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Row two, which is row one of our repeat rows. All right, so on this one, we chain four to start. And we are going to turn our work and we're gonna two double crochets together into the tops of our block stitch. And in the middle of our chain five, let's see, we're chain two. And in the middle of our chain five, we're going to do a V stitch. Chain two, another double in the same space. Chain two, two double crochets together in the tops of our box stitch from the previous row. Chain two, V stitch in our middle of our chain five. Chain two, two double crochets together in the top of our box. Okay. So if you can see how this circle interlocks with this circle, which interlocks with that circle, and there, and so on. That's why some people call it the wedding ring pattern. Some people call it a fairy ring pattern. And then you think to yourself, hmm, why fairy rings? I guess because it has something to do with how mushrooms will pop up overnight in a circle. So because of that shape, this reminds them of fairy rings. Okay, so then we chain two and two double crochets together. And this row, because it ends with the two double crochets together in this part, gets a chain two before you double crochet into the chain three from the row below. So now we have two complete rows of circles. And that was just running through the repeat one time. So you would, the next step would be to start over with row two. And if you wrote this down, you know that you're gonna start off by chaining eight and you're gonna skip over to your V stitch and do two double crochets, or double crochet, chain two, and double crochet into the V stitch to form the box stitch, or box shape rather, and then chain five and move on to the next and so on. So, we can do another four rows. All right, so we're gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn our work, jump over to our V stitch and do a double crochet. Chain two, and 
and double crochet in the second part of our V stitch. Chain five. Double crochet in the top of our V. Chain two, double crochet in the second part of our V to make that box. Chain five, jump over to the next V stitch, double crochet. Oh my goodness. Chain two and double crochet into the second leg of that V. Chain five. Jump over to the V, do a double, chain two, and a double into the second leg of the V, chain five, and double crochet into the top of the chain four from the row below. Kind of looks off there. Nope, I was right. I was right. All right. So then the next row is a chain three. One, two, three, turn your work. And it is a B stitch in the middle of the chain five. So you're basically, you're just repeating the same thing over and over again. It's just knowing what your chain start, your starting chain is for the different rows. And then you just, you know, just repeating the basically two different things. Chain two, two double crochets together. Chain two, V stitch. Chain two, and then two double crochets together. Whoops. Right. See how that completed the next circle, and then they just interlock. So when you're ready to be finished, you're probably going to want to finish off on a row like this, not on the chain five and the box stitch rows. So finish off and your length or your width, whichever way direction you chose to go with the um, two double crochets together and the V stitch row. And then you just, whatever type of border you choose to use. I did what was called a loose shell border on mine after I did two rounds of single crochet just to like firm up the edges. But I think with the right fiber and the right color, this stitch would make beautiful curtains. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that like button on your way out and we will see you in the next video.